Hi, I'm Jim Grouch of Metenge Proprietary Limited, and in this short video, I'm going to add an instrument to our simple Metsim model, and I'm going to you configure the instrument with a description name um, suitable for connection to a SCADA system. So, to add an instrument, we need to ensure that we have the CTL object selection palette um, active. As you've seen, there are many categories of objects and unit operation models, and all control and instrumentation is on this last of the three rows. And from CTL, I'm going to select the INS for instrument. I can see that it's selected and when I move the mouse over the draw, flow sheet drawing area, the mouse pointer changes to the INS symbol. I'm going to be using an instrument to collect and store the value for the flow rate of the outlet stream from our simple model. So I'm going to place the instrument by left clicking on the flow sheet drawing area near the stream 3. When I left click the dialog opens, enabling me to accept or change the controller number, and I will accept the default. On accepting it, the dialog opens for configuring the instrument. The first thing to do on placing an instrument or controller is to specify the unit operation number that the instrument will be both graphically linked to in its location in the model, and will be calculated with in the sequence of calculations that Metsim executes when solving a flow sheet or when executing each iteration of solving the flow sheet. So ours will be unit operation two. I do want the instrument to be active, so I'll turn it on and then I will configure the description for this instrument. This instrument will give us the outlet flow from our model. I'm using the descriptor outlet rather than a stream number as the stream number may be changed later. I'm not going to say flow because I'm going to specify the units for the instrument as meters cubed per hour and therefore the units imply flow. Further, I didn't say if it's solids, liquids, gas, and therefore the only logical interpretation is that I mean the total flow. Note that I use P, not a forward slash, to indicate the per in the units meters cubed per hour. That's because the forward slash um, is a restricted character and cannot be used um, in certain uses in Windows, APL and Metsim. Finally, I'm going to add another underscore as a visual separator and then add a uh, suffix. Suffix goes on the end, prefix goes on the front. A suffix code of PV, which you can consider as a, a process variable or a plant variable. Um, alternative, if it could be called measured var variable. So I use the suffix, the code on the end, PV, for my process or plant variable. I want to use that part of the description. I want to use the whole of the description as part of my APL expression for the value function to be calculated to, to calculate the result to be displayed. So I'm going to left click left mouse button drag, control C to copy, click into the value function, control V to paste, and there is my value function, which is not a valid APL expression for ex execution yet. It's just a text string. And I'm going to put a prefix or letters in the front of that description using the capital U, capital S, and another underscore to give me a clear visual separation. 
US in a text string is recognized by MedSim as being as potentially being a global variable of the user scalar type where a scalar is a single numeric value. I need to turn this into a valid APL expression and I need to capture something to this variable. I'm going to use the ALT and left square bracket to get the APL assignment left pointing arrow and I'm going to write my expression as value cubic meters per hour for stream number and in our case the outlet stream is stream number three. Note I use the small um, prefix for the stream number of S which ensures that that number will be updated if I change my stream later, stream numbers later in the model. Now my user scalar has not yet been created so I'm going to copy that total expression. No I'm not. I'm going to let Medsim calculate this for me. I know that the instrument will be calculated after the unit operation has been calculated. The sequence will be Medsim will calculate the requirements of the flow control, set the component mass flows in stream 1. Stream 2 is not being controlled or changed in any way. It will then calculate the sum of the two flows, assign the mass flows to stream 3 and then calculate my instrument. When it comes to calculate my instrument, it will come to where it needs to calculate this expression and in doing so it will create for me this variable. I could create this variable by using a user defined object but because I understand the sequence I'm going to allow Metsim to do that for me. In other words I'm being lazy because I can. I'm going to press enter or return to exit this dialog and we see our instrument on the flow sheet as read. I'm going to redraw the flow sheet and when I do, the instrument changes to green. I'm now going to calculate the unit operation. I didn't get an error to say that there was a, a value, a, a unassigned um, value um, assigned to an unnamed variable or anything of that nature. And when I click into my instrument using edit object data, I can see that my expression has been calculated without error and if I then go to user defined objects, the O under the tools menu uh, name and click into it, I see that my user scalar has been defined for me and has the value 10. So that's it. We've added an instrument, we're using it with a carefully um, standardized method of defining variable descriptions. I use that variable description with a capital US underscore prefix. I let Metsim calculate this, ex execute this expression and create the user scalar for me. And now when we run our model, we will see instrument number two the first five or so letters of which is O-U-T-L and the current value is 10. Thank you.